Welcome back, my ASVAB party people. Anderson here, your ASVAB coach. And in today's class, it's a free one, we've got ratios and proportions. So I'm gonna show you how to handle this nice and easy. That way we can, again, you know, get the wheels going when it comes to recognizing what to do in word problems, setting up those proportions, and solving them pretty quickly. If you know how to do those three things, then ratios and proportions are gonna be a pretty easy time. Now, obviously, there's practice to be done. So let's start here with this problem and let's get to it. If you want to join tonight's class, by the way, again, it is a free class. Check the link right there. There it is. You also have a link in the description of this video somewhere. Go ahead and find it and go ahead and register for tonight's free class. I gotcha. So here we go. So in a large basket of, let me give you your first lesson here. Your first lesson is going to be that you're not going to read the whole problem. You always want to start off with what you're looking for, no matter what type of problem it is. Ask, you know, what's the point? What are we doing here? And then you look at the information to help you sort things out. So here, there are, if there are a total of 150 fruits in the basket, how many of them are apples? All right, so right there, that's what I'm looking for. How many are apples? All right, so we're looking for the number of apples, blank apples. And the problem does give us a pretty big hint in terms of right here. If there are a total of 150 fruits in the basket, so blank apples, out of 150 total total fruit sounds good all right cool so we have a big hint to work off of and so we don't know technically yet that this is a proportion problem not yet but when you read and watch me go through the keywords and clues you're really going to see that oh yeah this is a proportion problem because remember with proportions write this down with proportions you're comparing the same things in the same way that's what you're always doing with proportions if you see that they're comparing the same things in the same way, yes, you have yourself a proportion. And then you can set up the equation appropriately, do your stuff and solve and cool, whoop de do. But watch how we're gonna get there. So here we go. In a large basket of mixed fruit, there are twice as many apples as grapes and three times as many grapes as oranges. If there are a total of blah, 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 and that's how we have our info right there. So what we want again is blank apples out of 150 total fruit, and what I've noticed is that we have three types of fruit here. So I use three different colors. I'll use uh, blue, red, and green here. So I see that we have twice as many apples as grapes, uh, grapes compared to oranges. But nonetheless, what we have here, apples, grapes, and oranges. Sounds good. So I'll go ahead and write that down here. I'll go ahead and say that we have apples, Grapes over here and oranges. All right, sounds good. So we have these three fruits, and if you're looking at oranges saying, why isn't it orange? Shut up. So with that, let's go ahead here and let's check this out now. So what we know here is that, hey, I have apples, grapes, and oranges, but if I want to set anything up here, because you have apples out of total, then we need to figure out how to compare apples to the total here. We have to figure that out. We have to. So how are we going to do that? So here, it's all in the clues. Twice as many apples as grapes. Okay? Twice as many apples as grapes. So what that tells me is this, my party people. If I'm looking at apples, that's twice as many grapes. So whatever apples are, again, how many apples you have, it's double the number of grapes. Can we agree on that real quick? Right? All good? Again, it says it right here twice as many apples as grapes. So whatever apples is, that is double the amount of grapes. That is double the amount of grapes. Now, next, three times as many grapes as oranges. So here are your grapes. There are three times as many grapes as oranges. So what that tells me is this, is that whatever grapes is, it's three times the number of oranges. Whatever the number of grapes are, it's three times the number of oranges. And so, how can we get this done? Take a look here. Notice that right now, we have oranges, grapes represented as oranges, and then we have grapes. We can still represent grapes as oranges. We can. Watch this. Let me zoom in just a little bit. So remember, for every grape, that's three times the amount of oranges. So what can we do here? Well, we can replace the grapes right here with three times the amount of oranges. We can absolutely do that. We can absolutely do that. So watch this. I'm going to go ahead here and simply replace. I'm going to keep the two there. But it's two times the number of grapes. The number of grapes is three times the number of oranges. 
So this is a slightly more complex problem, but again, the principle is still the same. Because if you do the three times the two, that's gonna give us, I'm gonna use uh, red here, I'm gonna give us six times the number of oranges. So what does this all do for us? Really, what does this all do for us? So really what this does for us at the end of the day is this my party people, it's this. If you're checking out what's going on here, we're trying to compare right over here at the top, we have apples to total. So that means that if we're gonna set up a proportion, we need to make sure we compare the same things in the same way. So what does that mean? Well, watch this. If I'm looking at, again, apples, so I'll just use uh, A for apples. A for apples over 150 total, then what we're gonna need to do is have an appropriate comparison done. We're gonna have to have an appropriate comparison. And what does that mean? It means that we're gonna have to compare apples the total. We have to do the same thing in the same way. Now, it's actually quite, quite straightforward here. So watch this. So what do we have for uh, the total here? Well, we're using oranges to look at this, and that's quite all right. Because again, what we're doing here is we're representing each one in terms of pieces. So if we're looking at the total number of pieces, one of the pieces would be oranges, three of them would be grapes, six of them would be apples. And so you have six right there representing apples. We have six of those pieces representing apples. What's the total number of pieces? We have six, three, so that's nine. Then one more for oranges, 10. So we have six, seven, eight, nine, 10. So there are 10 total pieces here, six of which are apples, three of which are grapes, one of which represent oranges. There we go. We have 10 total pieces because again, six, plus three plus one is 10. We have 10 total pieces. And so we have that right there, boom. And now all we have to do here is solve this proportion. We're done. And we're done. So how do we solve this proportion? There's a super quick way and there's a super long way. The super quick way, all you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and see if there's a convenient comparison that you can make. And that convenient comparison is this. From six to 150, that's times 15. So from six to apples, times 15. This is how you compare the same things in the same way. That's what a proportion really is. It's an equivalent scale factor. That's what we really call it. But again, all that really means is to get from one number to the other, you get the same way to the same uh, piece of information the other way around too. So if I wanted to go from total to total, times 15. So to go from apples to apples, same direction, times 15. And so six times 15, what is that gonna give us? Let's find out right here. Five times six is 30. One times six is six, plus three is nine. And so we have 90 pieces there, 90 apples out of the total. And that's how we get D. But don't stop the video yet. Don't stop the video yet. I wanna go ahead here and tell you and show you uh, the other way that we can do this. So the other way we can do this is gonna be by cross multiplication and division, just like that. So that's the other way we can do it. And if we do it that way, just watch what happens here. We're gonna have 10 times apples. So I'll just go ahead and say 10A. And then 150 times six, well, that's gonna give us 900. Do the math, check your work. That's gonna give us 900. So to get this done, divide both sides by 10. And we have A equals 90, right there. So really, again, what I'm saying is, is that we need to be keen about understanding how to set up proportions and know what we're looking for. Because we could have easily accidentally used the three or the one or the six or maybe misused the 10 or maybe not even use the 10 at all. So we have to make sure we know what components and pieces we're looking for to give ourselves that easy time that we're looking for. So with that said, my party people, again, I'm looking forward to having you in tonight's class. It is a free one on ratios and proportions. We're going to be going over some pretty unique problems. So I hope to see you there. And if you have any questions, just let me know. I'm Coach Anderson. Happy to have you. Let's ace the ass bad.